the Virginia Tech Hokies quarterback situation has been flying a bit under the radar unless you are a Virginia Tech fan or an ACC fan. So I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about Braxton Burmeister. I want to dive into some of the film and look at what he does well, what you can expect from him as the quarterback and some areas that we want to potentially kind of improve on. He got some good playing time last year, uh, playing, going back and forth with Hendon Hooker at times, who is now transferred. And so he, he showed a, a few good things last year and also showed some things that you kind of want to improve on. But regardless, uh, I think he's a guy with talent and a guy with potential you can build on. So before we dive into the actual film, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to our YouTube channel if you like any quarterback related content and give us comments below if you like this video or what your thoughts are on Burmeister. Okay, let's dive into the actual content of the video. So Braxton Burmeister, we're going to watch the game against Duke because I think it showed a lot of good things that he does and then some things you want to see improvement on, right? So it showed his big play ability. So the, the big thing with him is he's a good athlete. He can push the ball downfield whenever things set up around him. So I think he has a knack for big plays, which we saw against Duke, but it's the He's kind of short excuse me, it's the short to intermediate plays. We want to be a bit more consistent. I want to be a bit more accurate, right? We want to get that completion percentage up a bit more. Yards per attempt is good, which we'll talk about in a second. He pushed the ball downfield, but we want to have those kind of plays in between, right? We don't want to be kind of all or nothing, if you will. So Burmeister played about five games last year, I think, and, and split some time with Hidden Hooker. His completion percentage was 57.1. You want to see that tick up a bit more, and that will be improved on when he hits the short to intermediate passes. His yards per attempt are 8.2, which I think is pretty good in that offense and it opens up the field. So I think you want to maintain that, just increase accuracy. 687 yards passing, 182 yards on the ground. Again, good running quarterback. Two touchdowns rushing, two touchdown passing, only one interception. So again, big playability, very good athlete. You want to improve on that short-term intermediate, intermediate range type throws. And again, it, it's it's also, in his defense, uh, didn't get a ton of just uh, natural reps, right? With the COVID year, played in five games. A lot of times he was coming off the bench to replace Hooker. So there were kind of a few different things going on. So I think the talent is there. So when we watch this film, watch his ability to push the ball downfield whenever he does. Uh, he has some big play ability, and then you'll see good examples of him with his legs and him running. So I think Virginia Tech has potential at the quarterback position. It says, can he evolve, and can you put him in the best position to be successful? So let's dive into the film against Duke, and I'll see you on the back end. Here's a good deep ball by Burmeister. He's hitting this deep post here. Uh, it ends up being an incompletion, but it's a ball that probably should have been caught here. We'll watch it full time to kind of break it down. But it's a good read, pressure in his face, and I think it does a good job demonstrating the ability that Burmeister does have to throw it deep. So Burmeister's initial read is this safety here, almost in the box already, right? About 10 yards out of the line of scrimmage, comes in. Then he takes this kind of deep crosser route here. Burmeister sees that, and this enables this deep shot to be made, which he does, throws it out to space with pressure in his face right here. So good ball pressure in the space, but it's a good read to, to, to see that safety pre-snap, and then post-snap, keep your eye on that safety. Uh, if the safety does a little celebration without even being a part of it, that's okay. Uh, but again, a ball that should have been caught, and you can see that the uh, the throw out to space here. It's a good job by, Burma by Burmeister, excuse me. See the pressure in his face. Ball out here. Probably should have been a cut ball, but nonetheless, a good ball by Burmeister, Burmeister there. So here's a good deep ball by Burmeister. I think these type of throws are probably when Burmeister's out, out his best and able to kind of get a half roll set up and throw. Good deep ball right here. We'll kind of rewind it, kind of break it down a bit more detail. But again, I think Burmeister is at his best whenever he's in those type of throws. Gets a little half roll going, is able to be comfortable here. Good read, safety bites down the kind of deeper dig route here, enabling the deep post to get open. Burmeister sets his feet up, is able to deliver a good ball, throws to space, hits his guy in stride for a big play. We'll watch the behind the center angle as well. Uh, but again, I, I think Virginia Tech will probably have Burmeister doing uh, these type of throws somewhat often throughout the game just because his threat of running will throw the defense off. And then that's a good uh, example of his arm strength pushing it downfield. Here's a big throw by Burmeister, and we'll see him hit the uh, slot receiver on a seam route, throws a back shoulder fade. But this is a good example of uh, Burmeister's ability to push the ball downfield and his knack for big plays. Let's go ahead and watch it here. Good coverage by the DB. Burmeister's able to throw it behind the receiver, good adjustment for a big catch inside the 15-yard line. This was towards the end of the game. Virginia Tech goes up by, I think, three here, or it was tied. Regardless, uh, big-time throw late in the fourth quarter. Good ball, back shoulder throw, good adjustment, good catch. So here's a touchdown from Burmeister to the receiver in the bottom of the screen. It's kind of like a quick slant slash just glance route here because we see the backer coming up here. So this is a good example of what a good run game can do for you. Can get the defense out of position and have a nice, relatively easy throw, uh, even though there's a tight window there, but at least presents a throw for Burmeister to make. And we'll see the safety creep down here. 
the threat of the run keeps the safety there, right? So we got four, five, seven in the box here. So good decision to uh, keep the ball and throw. Safety can't get back in time here. Good tight window to, to, to the ball right there. And we'll watch both angles. So you can kind of see the throw. But that's a good touchdown by Burmeister and something that you'll see more and more uh, from him this next year. Here we go here. You see the safety creeping up. This is kind of what makes it. He has to stay there for the third of Burmeister to run. Good ball fitting it into a tight window. Sure, the touchdown run by Burmeister. Fake the running back. He keeps it. Hits the hole up here. And watch his left tackle pulling. Pretty athletic move by his left tackle. He's able to kind of make his read off the left tackle to keep it and go for a touchdown here. So a uh, good example of his athleticism, the, bu the burst that he does have. Uh, but I think a good example of him being a smart runner as well. You see the tackle moves, bust up here. Then the rest is pure speed towards the uh, corner of the end zone, the front pylon. Good job by Burmeister there. I, I, I think he probably is a pretty deceptive athlete to defenders until they actually play him in person. We'll watch this here. Left tackle coming up. Blocks him. Is able to get up through the hole and then hit the front pylon. So here's a run from Burmeister, just a good example of showing his athletic ability and the fact that he's got some speed and acceleration when he decides to use it. Hole comes up there, able to get upfield. Pick up a good gain there, about 15-ish yards or so. Uh, definitely a good athlete and definitely a good runner here. Watch this angle as well. Decisive run, able to beat the backer to the sideline and pick up a first down. So here's a touchdown run for Burmeister. Just a good example of, of a tough run, putting your shoulder down, getting some extra yards here. Something Virginia Tech will ha definitely have in their game plan uh, towards the goal line or a short yard situation. Here's a good example. Good angle here. Burmeister putting his head down and getting an extra yard or two for the touchdown. Good tough run. So here's probably the, the, the number one style of play Burmeister needs to avoid, and that's just forcing the ball. And so this ends up in a turnover. There are other uh, examples, instances where it's, just, it's almost a turnover. So that's the last thing you want to do is throw a ball like that. Good job avoiding pressure and good athletic quarterbacks. That's usually kind of their, their downfall or what they have to work on the most, and that's just forcing a ball when there's nothing there. We'll watch this point of view. Good job escaping. Just throw it away there. Tries to make a play. Ends up being an interception. So here's an example of Burmeister aiming the football as opposed to just letting it rip and throwing it. And you see this several times whenever quarterbacks end up throwing short or inaccurate. If you watch him, he kind of aims it for him and just underthrows him severely there. Not a bad read, uh, just just not the right type of throw there. You really want to let it rip there as opposed to aiming it. He's got plenty of arm to make that throw, so that's just trying to uh, be too kind of precise with the ball. Just let it rip right there in that situation. You can see just a short throw there. So again, just a few clips, but I think does a good job kind of giving you a feel for Burmeister in his game. Good athlete, uh, can make the big play when called upon. When called upon. It's just kind of uh, executing those short term intermediate, intermediate throws. And I think with experience, I think that can happen. But I want to hear from you, Virginia Tech fans. What do you think about Burmeister? What do you think he brings to the table in 2021? And how far do you think y'all can go if you'll get some good quarterback play? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time on our next quarterback-related video.